Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about what are the changes that I would make if I had to start all over again to learn quantitative finance to become a quant. Well, there are a number of things I would like to change. Uh, when I started out long back, it was a different time. There are not uh, many things uh, on the internet to read. So I had barely any clue about what this field is about. So the only way to get to know about the field was to read books or to start working or to do a full-time program in masters. That's what I did. But if I had to start all over again, I would, I would not go for a full-time master's degree, I would say, uh, simply because it's time consuming and there is an opportunity cost. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that my financial condition wasn't that great to uh, afford a full-time master's degree at that point in time, but I had to do it because there was no other option. But if you are able to afford, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. So that's something I would change. The other things I would like to change. First of all, I'll focus more on the self-study part, right? There's a number of things which can be learned on your own, right? Uh, you can read from the books. You can do some courses, uh, short-term courses. Uh, you can also learn from your peers. You can read online. The number of videos available online uh, on YouTube, but also other platforms. The number of uh, blog posts on internet you can read more and more and, and you can learn a number of things. You can do pro side projects. The number of side projects available online, which you can do on your own. And that's also amazing. During my time, it was a bit different. Well, internet was still popular back then, but it wasn't that popular as it is now. And YouTube almost didn't exist. Well, it did, but uh, it existed for music and, uh, and comedy videos and not for education. So things have changed so dramatically. So. Yeah, that's one thing I would do. There are other changes I would make. For example, I would choose better quality work early in my career. That really gives a lot of confidence, but it also opens up uh, a number of opportunities. Uh, so early in your career, look for good quality work. Money is secondary. I mean, not that money is not important, but a lot of people, including me, value money a lot. Uh, early in my career, I I did that. I chose money over good quality work. And I did have to pay price for that. Uh, so I would highly recommend, I'll highly advise you to, you know, pray for good quality work early in your career. I, I think in anything, it's not be just in, in quantitative finance, but in other areas as well. Always prefer high quality work that really pays well later on okay so that's something uh, to keep in mind uh, networking opportunity is very very important i think in any field but certainly in the field of finance so be in touch with your co-workers ex-co-workers your college mates classmates seniors juniors uh, be part of different uh, quant communities if possible attend conferences if possible so it's good to connect with people just to know what they are doing, what others are doing. Uh, but also, uh, you know, there are other benefits. For example, if you're looking for a job, I think it's really good if you have a good network, especially after a while. You know, first 10 years, it's not going to be a problem. But after 10 years, after you become a, a very senior expert, networking plays a big role. So if you haven't really created a network for yourself, that can be a challenge. I don't think I did a good job in that. So I would like to be better if I had to start all over again. Um, I would also specialize in more fields. Uh, I just feel that I specialize in just a few fields. Uh, it's good to therefore spend, let's say, two, three years maximum in a one field and just try something totally new. Uh, then there is a price to pay for that because if you change to a new field, you have to start all over again. You know, and getting out of a comfort zone is never easy. It's very common human nature. But if you're able to do that, it is amazing. You have better opportunities, more opportunities uh, in later in your career. So that's something to keep in mind. So always specialize in multiple areas uh, in the field of quant finance. I, I would say even that's true in other areas, but certainly in the field of finance. Uh, 
don't try to be a super duper specialist in just one area i think that's a bit risky after you become uh, a very senior guy it's very difficult then because if you want to find a new job after having 10 15 years of experience in one area nobody is going to hire you because you haven't really worked in other areas right and at that seniority level it's very difficult to find opportunities uh, for absolute beginners but early on your career that's quite easy so you can move around a bit experiment a bit and see if what you like the best and if you have couple of skills on your cv that's really good and you have the options of exploring more than one field later on uh, there are other things i would also do for example uh, you know while i my interest has always been more on the mathematical side of finance uh, i i would learn a more a lot more about the business side um so going back uh, if if there are some of the mistakes that i made one thing is that there have been opportunities for me to work in the business side also interact with the business side early on i didn't i didn't take those opportunity i don't uh, i didn't uh, accept those opportunities simply because i didn't want to learn finance i was more interested in the mathematics side of it and and building models and so on but for getting opportunities to interact with uh, business people making a pnl impact go for that really helps and you will realize how important it is to have business impact real business impact uh, after a while because technical stuff is important only if it it has impact in money terms and that's quite quite important have some years of experience uh, at least n- not full time if if not full time at least part time uh, experience of working with business folks and learning more and more about the business side of things in the field of finance certification i would say i had time to do a few certifications i was never a fan of certification actually that's the reason why i never went for cfa and all those certifications but i wish i had done i think that was that's also a regret not not to learn quantitative stuff i don't think there is anything in cfa that uh, uh, is heavily quantitative but it's just about learning more about finance in general i think it's it's good to do certifications uh, especially which are highly recognized not early in your career that's something i would uh, advise you can do those certifications maybe after 4 or 5 years of experience and only if you have time right it's not like everybody has to do it and if you already have a phd in finance or economics i don't think you need uh, such certifications but if you come from non finance background it's good to do s- such certifications okay there are many other mistakes i have made by the way i can go on but i don't want to bore you with a longer form of video i would like to stop here but thanks for watching and uh, let me know if i have questions thanks guys